Hello everyone. Today we're gonna have a new seafood that on our show. I think that is uh, quite interesting. So shall we go and check it out now? This is the first time we are cooking green lip mussels in this um, channel. And um, I fall in love with the green lip mussels when I was traveling in New Zealand uh, about uh, in 2020. Um, the mussels there were like big and juicy and plump. Um, these are, I believe, uh, coming locally. It's my first time uh, buying them from a local supermarket and I'm excited to cook them and uh, to taste them to see how it compares to the one that um, I have tasted in uh, New Zealand. So let us start the preparation. If you find any of these mussels that has a broken shell, I will advise the inspector to um, throw them away instead of cooking it because we are not quite sure what actually happened to the mussel. Some mussels you might see these um, thing that is hanging out. This is actually the beard of the mussels. So if you see this, just gently remove it away. If you see a mussel that has a barnacle over here, what I suggest is that uh, take a, a butter knife or a small knife and just gently try to take it away, okay? Because the barnacles is actually a living thing, so we definitely do not want to cook them. It's better to scrape it off and then uh, clean the mussels. I noticed the mussels that are found locally, um, beside the shells that is dirty, something that to take note is that um, at this part, you can actually see some mud. So most of the mussels have some mud attached here. So what we're gonna do is, we probably use a um, toothbrush and to scrub it inside and outside uh, before cooking. So after you have already cleaned every single mussel, it's better to also give it a final rinse by putting them in the tray. Alright, then uh, put some water. After quite a few rounds of uh, rinsing the mussels, I think that um, it's very clean right now. So I will put this back into the fridge and start to prepare the rest of the ingredients for today's cooking. I'm going to just stir fry the chopped shallots and the minced garlic first. Okay, next I'm going to add in the um, 600 ml of uh, chicken stock. Once um, we see that the broth is coming to a boil, we will add in the galanga and then um, all the kaffir lime leaves I'll put in the lemongrass as well and last but not least the three chili padi that we have smashed it's more to give the broth a little bit of heat to add a little bit more taste, I put in like one tablespoon of fish sauce 
This is like a what I call a Thai spicy broth and um, I'm gonna use uh, one tablespoon of uh, palm sugar. You can use white sugar if you want. Okay, now we are ready to put in the mussels. So we should be cooking the mussels till they're opened. And um, that usually takes about uh, two minutes, I would say. Cover it and let's steam the mussel for two minutes or till all the mussels are opened. Okay, after two minutes, I noticed that not all the mussels are open. That probably those at below seems to be cooked. So I'm gonna just flip a little bit, flip them, toss them a little bit, and then I'll continue to steam the rest of the mussels for a little while longer, or just to be safe. All right, I think most of the mussels are opened. So what we're gonna do is to put in the sour ingredient, which is the lime juice. Okay, at this moment, I'm gonna off the heat. And then put in a good bunch of what we call um, holy baser or Thai baser. Then a good bunch of parsley or cilantro. Wow and cover this and let it infuse for another minute or so and we are ready to plate and enjoy this dish Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the pot of mussels is quite a lot, so I prefer to uh, just put some out. And uh, yeah, let's let's try the mussels. Okay, I, I can see that it's not as plum as the one I ate in New Zealand, but let's see, please. Hmm, sweet. Hmm, pretty good. And the broth. Mm -hmm. It has uh, the natural sweetness coming from the muscles plus there is a um, saltiness a little bit of heat I think that um, I'm someone who loves spicy food so perhaps maybe I should put three I put I should have put a more chili party instead of three mm. Wow, very nice. So I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Yummy. The mussels that I have uh, gotten from the supermarket is not as plump as the one that we ate at New Zealand, but I would say it's value for money and the broth is uh, very nice. Uh, perhaps, as I mentioned, I'm someone who loves spicy food. I could put in a little bit more, uh, like two or three more chili buddy just to have the extra heat. Overall, I'm very happy with uh, this cooking and I hope you will try out this recipe. I will see you soon.